today's video, I'm just going to do a lookbook. So this is an affordable lookbook and most of the items that I'll be including here are either from Ukay Ukay or Shopee. So both are very accessible and very affordable. So there. I heads up on kayo that most of these items are either crop tops or skirts. Because you know what? Anyway, so another note is who is my fashion inspo? My fashion inspo had always been Monica Geller and Rachel Green from Friends. And some of the inspo are just from the Pinterest. And also, Totally Spy. So it may seem weird, but fashion inspo po rin yung cartoon na yun. So anyway, so enough with the mumbling. Let's now start with the video. So this first outfit is the cutest one and maybe the most cute one. The top and skirt can be found through shopping. What I love the most about this combination is the skirt, of course. This plaid pleated high-waisted skirt is every otaku's bet. Para schoolgirl from Japan lang ang beg. In addition to that, this skirt has its own shorts na. Yes! I know, right? I'm fully aware of how short this skirt is. That's why having an attached shorts inside is a plus. I have combined it with this lettuce sleeve crop top with a mariposa print, which is just the detail that we need for a simple white crop. I love how the ends of these sleeves and the print added a pop of color in this look. For my shoes, I only use the simple white shoes, which are partnered with this plain long socks. The combination of everything just gives you that teenage vibes I usually see from Pinterest. For our next outfit, this is two of my most favorite ukay finds. For this look, I opt to go monochromatic. The top is this dark earth brown color cardigan. I bought only for 100 pesos from ukay ukay. And what I love about this top is it's already cropped like this when I found it. I also love how it hugs my body like it's made exactly for me. It's really flattering and also the color is really versatile. For the skirt, I also find it from Ukai. This has a cottony fabric na halos parang katsya. What caught my eye was also its color, which is also really versatile and can be matched with the same colors or brighter ones. This skirt is also really flattering, but I had it repaired to fit my likings. For our third outfit, I switched the top with this blue lingerie, which is like a corset. I also got this from Ukai, and don't worry because I almost hurt my hands washing this because who knows who had sex while wearing this. I just tried to experiment adding a pop of color to the look which turned out nice. I love how both the colors complemented each other and accentuated my waist. For my bag, I used this faux alligator skin white baguette to match my skirt and tie up the whole look. For the fourth look, I exchanged my nude skirt with a black one. This skirt is also thrifted. I love how the look was upgraded into something more classier and more put together. For my sandals, I exchanged the nude one to the single strap black suede sandals which perfectly matched my skirt. And for my bag, I opted for this black leather bag with a gold knuckle that matches my necklace and earrings. Next, I exchanged the lingerie with this tie-up cardigan which is really trendy these days. Fashion comes with what you wear underneath. So I have worn a nipple tape for this one. My only problem was the fabric was kind of thin. That's why the nipple tape was a little visible. If you guys have any nipple tape recommendations, please comment down below. For my shoes, I used my long socks and white shoes once again to make it more sporty and casual. For the next look, I exchanged the cardigan with this white ribbed crop top for a more conservative look. Honestly, both outfits look good but this one is obviously more comfortable. For a change, I used this brown United Colors of Benetton baguette which I got from Ukay also, only for 150 pesos. This outfit screams season 1 of Friends, Rachel Green. Okay, for the next outfit, I exchanged the black skirt with the red one. I also love this skirt so much. It has that vintage red color and it also have an attached shorts. The shorts was a little thin but it adds security so it's really convenient. The outfit was made a little brighter and cuter with this color. And I love how skirts like this can be casual looking if paired with the right top and rubber shoes. 
I exchanged a skirt with this normal formal nude pants which I also got from Ukai. This is one of the most asked piece I got from Ukai in all my social media platforms. So here's the answer. It's from Ukai Ukai and I got it altered. And I only got it for 150 pesos. Next, I'm going to use a black belt to make the look more put together and again accent my waist. For shoes, I used my white socks and shoes and I was skeptical about this but look how cute it turned out. I love how the crop top and the rubber shoes dressed down the pants and made it look more casual and comfortable. To be honest, I love how two different conventional clothing can complement each other and create a new look other than what's expected out of it. I decided to add a cardigan I used before because I think it will complement the pants and it did. It made the look more put together and matured. It looks like something I'd wear on cold places and made me look like that girl that orders hot coffee and read books at a coffee shop for hours and has her life together, which I'm not. <laughs> For my last look, this one is an outlier. It's more of something out of 2000's trend, but I like it. Plus, the pants was thrifted and the top is from Shopee and they look cute together. My inspo for this one is the cartoon Totally Spice which had been my all-time favorite cartoon since I was 10 and up to today. So, I matched this violet blue colored crop top which has this really small flower detail in the middle with the vintage high-waisted flared pants. So 2000s, right? For my shoes, I opted for my Nike Air Max 97 in blush pink. I love how this look is super casual but cute and I must say it's super comfortable too. Anyway guys, so that's it for today's video and I hope you liked all the outfits that I mixed up and please do tell me your thoughts about them. You can comment it down below and I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video.